Extra safety measures and security during dismissal at the campus magnet high school in Cambria Heights. This after two students were hit by bullets standing at a bus stop. It happened here at the corner of Linden and Springfield Boulevards just before 5 Wednesday evening. A 16-year-old girl suffered a graze wound to her ankle. A 14-year-old was hit in his leg. We tried to speak with the students and their parents at their homes, but there was no answer. Police say a fight between a large group of teenagers led to the shooting. As kids 16, 15, 17, those are kids. They shouldn't be handling those weapons at all. So I think safety measures, and I think that starts at home. Almost immediately after the shooting, police arrested a 13-year-old who allegedly tossed the gun nearby. Earlier this week in the Bronx, police arrested and charged a 16-year-old in connection to the shooting of a police officer, adding to the concern and cry to get guns out of the hands of teens. Too many young people have too many guns in their hands, and our job is to create a pathway to stop that. NYPD statistics show as of the end of the year, shootings involving teenagers, whether being victims or suspects, are up about 30 percent. The numbers are alarming. It's also a harsh reality. Back in Queens, crisis management groups say they will be vigilant in hopes to prevent another student from being shot. And we want them to know that they're supported and we want to see them safe. And crisis management groups are also urging parents to do more to make sure their teenagers are doing the right thing. In Cambria Heights, Queens, Nicole Johnson, PIX11 News.